One of the most challenging parts of building a website is building that first hero section. This is because it's the first thing that people see when they land upon a website. So you have to get that hero section right. Now over time, once you've designed many different websites, you start to run out of ideas. That's why in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 15 super interesting and unique different hero sections that have all been built in Elementor. So you can take this, you can look at this, you can be inspired and add some extra life into some of your designs. So let's go. So to start off, we're looking at the more conventional style hero section where you have your title or value proposition over on the left hand side followed by your call to action so you're essentially you've got your text on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you have a supporting graphic the reason why i say it's more conventional is that this is probably one of the most common ways to lay out your hero section and perhaps one in which that you have done on multiple designs already so you really can't go wrong with this type of layout now, following on from the conventional side of things, we have another option here where you have your text over on the left hand side and your image over on the right. But in this example here, it's created another dimension because aesthetically we have this overlay which works really nice and that overlay is then sat on top of a background image, background video shall I say, where it's subtly playing in the background. So it adds a lot of layers. So visually, this is really nice and from a wireframe layout perspective this is so simple we've got a title and we have a call to action down here and then your image over on the right so again a very conventional way of building a hero section but visually still very nice to look at okay taking the conventional hero section a step further we now have the image over on the right hand side that sits the full height of its container okay and this works really nice because we end up with this split screen of visual graphics over on the right and then our clear blank canvas with our text over on the left and again visually this works really nice in this example we've even got our navigation items over on the far left as well which is quite nice and small they're not in your face and so your focus is still drawn to the value proposition here over on the left hand side and the call to action so i do really like this layout i think it works really really well for a lot of designs whether it is i guess similar to this manufacturing style design website but you can also use it for many different industries on their website okay next we're looking at taking that conventional layout where you have your text over on the left and your image over on the right and we're completely flipping it okay so this again in my opinion works really really well because you have your visual graphic over on the left and then your text is over on the right and as a visual composition and balance it does work really really well now it is breaking that convention ever so slightly which is why i wanted to include it in this so if you ever find yourself getting a little bit bored of putting your text over on the left and your image over on the right try swapping it up it might work really really well again we have another example where this has been used and this website here this this hero section is you know, it's pretty cool like it looks visually stunning it's engaging it's bold it's bright and as a brand visually this website is cool so we've got our hero section value proposition over on the right hand side we have a huge call to action which on hover looks really smart as well and let's not forget guys this has all been built in elemental so it's it's pretty impressive what you're able to produce with elemental these days so this is breaking convention a little bit because we've got a logo here as well and you've got your navigation over on the left hand side and then some icons over on the right hand side. So this does completely break many conventions but still works really well because I think it works with the style of this website. So again, if you find yourself in a position where you wanna sw swap up the position of your image and your value proposition, give it a try because it could work really, really well. Okay, let's move on to something different. We've got large background images with large text sat on top. So visually the image is nice and subtle in the background and gives a lot of context to the website. And then our value proposition is still positioned on the left hand side in terms of our title, a support and statement, and then our call to action. That is still positioned on the left hand side it takes up a bit more real estate than some of the conventional normal ones that we've just looked at but it does also allow for this background image as well and it provides focus and you'll notice that the way that this works well is because there is a gradient fading from dark black to 
nothing that allows the text to pop. Okay, so that's why that works really well. So when you are positioning text on top of a background image, you need to make sure that it doesn't ruin the image or prevent the user from seeing key parts of that image and preventing them from seeing what the image is in reference to. Okay, so just be, just be mindful of that. But in this scenario, it works really well. Okay, now taking this a step further, we've got a very similar concept with our large background image, but this time we're utilizing a video. Okay, so there's no reason why you can't use video up in this top spot. This looks really nice. And then subtly in the lower left corner, this is where our title, our value proposition and our support and text is. Now you can't see that fully because I'm in the way, but as you can see, it's tucked nicely down in the left-hand corner. And so the focus really is on this video. Okay, this is a sheet metal company. So they are showcasing the metal works of buildings that they have produced. Very, very visually stunning. And again, works well. This is a more minimal approach, I would say, where you let the visuals do the talking. Okay, now similar to that, we have a background image. So this, uh, on this example, is a carousel, but we have our value proposition, large, centralized in the middle of the page and that's what you read and that's what your attention is drawn to so from a functional standpoint really simple again the images are doing a lot of the talking here but this is just a support and value proposition which pops and stands out in the center of the page okay so now we've got a new layout we've got our text and our title on the top side of the website and then its support and image is positioned underneath as you can see here so Again, this is breaking convention. It's breaking that convention of your text on the left-hand side and your image on the right. This time we are stacking it, which gives you an opportunity to be a little bit bigger and bolder with your titles and your supporting statement, because that can take up a lot more of the screen real estate. And in your image, you can position underneath. And this also gives you a lot more screen real estate as well. So if you need to use a larger image for whatever reason, you can just stack it like this. Okay, next we have a similar option where our text and our images are stacked. However, this time the text is center aligned and it's taking up far less screen real estate. Okay, so we just have a value proposition. There's no reason why you couldn't put a support and statement in here and it still work really, really well. And then we have our images that form underneath. So this is utilizing more than one image. So there's no reason why you can't use multiple images like this has, so you could have your value proposition, your support statement, and two or three images underneath, or even just the one single image like we saw in the previous example. Okay, so now we are getting a little bit more unique. Okay, so we have some crazy typography here, which looks ace. Still on the surface, it's very, very simplistic. We just have some text and an image underneath. But in this hero section, we do have a lot more going on. Okay, we have some vertical scrolling, on either side of this design, we have a nice cursor and we have some spinning text here. So this is this looks really nice, okay? But the foundation of this is having a value proposition overlaid on some image and a very nice subtle animated background working in the background. So again, this has been built in Elementor. So if you're looking to completely mix up the way that you're producing hero sections on your Elementor sites, this is an awesome example because it is breaking away from all of the other examples that we've provided already and it adds a whole new level to what you can do with the hero section. Next, we've got another example where it's essentially a 50-50 split with a carousel. And if we scroll here, you can see what's happening here. We've got the brand, bold brand colors, we've got images and the carousel taking place. Plus you have this overlay effect, like the hover transition of this text which is again, just gives it another dimension. Okay, now this is interesting because it's not utilizing a value proposition. It's just taking its logo and placing it in here. And then you could very easily take inspiration from this where you're splitting the screen, utilizing a carousel in the background of some sort, having some hover effects over your value proposition and your statement and your call to action. Okay, there's a lot of opportunity for you here to produce some really stunning headers. Next, we are moving on to much larger typography. Okay, this allows the type to do the talking and it's really big, really bold, and really minimal. Okay, so this looks really nice. It's got utilizing two different fonts, 
which is why I think visually it works. But from a wireframing perspective, there's not really a lot going on here. So you can really make use of big, bold typography in your main hero section, and it still work really, really well. Another example of big, bold typography is this one here. So we have the text in the background with an image in the foreground, which again works really well. We've got some animation. And if I scroll, you can see that there is some very subtle parallax on this, which again, it takes what appears to be something relatively boring, plain, you know, it's just black and white text. Yes, the typography is done really nicely and there is a subtle animation, but this hover effect, honestly, just, just gives it that next level, that, that extra dimension, which is why I think it works really, really well. So yeah, when you when you're producing your hero section, experiment with big bold typography. See if there's anything you can do with a parallax to just give it that wow factor. And then finally, our last example, we have a full navigation hero section. Okay, now our nav is really subtle over on the right hand side, but this is where the magic happens. Okay, we've got hover effects on each one of these pieces of text, which not only transitions the fill within the text itself, but also gives you a new image on the right hand side. So from a layout, it's very conventional where we have our text on the left and our image on the right. But this just completely changes the game with the way that that text works. Okay, this is a carousel, it allows you to select it and then it will just go to another page. Okay, so there's no reason why you can't necessarily break the convention of bringing your value proposition in, but maybe just change the way you're doing it. You have an opportunity to link to certain parts of your website up in the main hero section to directly drive traffic to specific places across the site. And you can do this in a very visually appealing way. Okay, so there's really a lot of different ways that you can start presenting your hero section within any one of your website designs, whether you're using Elementor or not. As you can see, there are some really super interesting ways that you can design and build your hero section in Elementor. And even if you're not using Elementor, you can take any single one of these designs as inspiration to build out a website on any platform that you are using. So if you found this valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. There's an end screen coming up now with more valuable content for you to go and check out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.